Sorry, everyone. I don't know what happened there. Uh, yeah. Is it okay now? Uh, sorry about that. I might have just kicked something when I was trying to uh, load. Um, I was trying to check on something for Douyu. Yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. I think I kicked something, so that was actually my fault, so... <laughs> I might have hit the device and caused it to do that, so... That was, uh, not so good. It's probably related to... Actually, give me a sec. Uh, okay. It's probably related to, like, I turned on something. Oh, yeah, I know. It's not proper if it doesn't have to... I mean, this kind of stuff happens. Yeah, no kidding. Sorry about that. It's also my fault. I was- I created the- this time I created the technical difficulty, so it's not entirely because of my setup. Anyway, let's go talk to this guy now. But yeah, pretty much uh, that's all I have to say about the updated Switch. I don't know if they'll do a Switch Pro. I mean, I don't know what's- I have no intention of- I mean, I don't need to wait for it. I, I don't really care unless more support is for it, but... But power is like, I don't know. It, 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 it really depends on like, I guess if you're willing to wait to play stuff, then you can wait as long as you want. I mean, you could, some people even wait to the end of a console generation to purchase, so by that time, then you'll definitely get your money's worth. Anyway, because there's already a lot of games and we're only like in year three, so. Or yeah, I guess it would be the year three, but anyway. Anyway, let me go voice this guy. Hey, buddy, are you looking for someone or are you having an involuntary neck spasm? So, you're looking for a priest named Ronfar. Well, what are you what are you doing in here? Just a wild guess, but you'd probably find a priest in the sanctuary instead of a bar. Huh, I wonder who this guy is. Say, guys, why waste your time looking for this Ronfar guy? I mean, why not forget about him and join me in an exciting game of dice rolling? I promise to go easy on you for the first couple of rounds. No, no thanks, dude. Well, what do you say? I know that a real man would take a shot at fame and fortune. Tell you what, let's sweeten the deal. If you win, I'll hand over the keys to my humble home. But if I win, I get your flying cat thing. I'm sure I can find a use for it. Pet shop, zoo, stew. What, 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 what? You want to eat me? Huh, huh? Yeah, I was thinking like, is he wrong for? Hero would never offer me up as a bet, you barbarian. Hmm. Are you sure, Ruby? Are you certain? That is right, that is mighty good. Well, wax my eyelashes and call me hairless. A man that won't gamble with me. Amazing. Come on, hero. Let's get out of here. This barbarian doesn't have anything to offer us. Okay, so she just says the same thing. Honestly, I mean, it could be... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ronfar was the guy who was gambling, so... Is he Ronfar and he's just pretending he's not? I mean, it's entirely possible. It doesn't, like, he's the one who was gambling, and then the girl was saying that Ronfar, Ronfar is very hot because even while he gambles, I'm like, hmm. But I guess we, he's telling us to go to the sanctuary, but I guess we should go to the sanctuary. Oh my, I've never seen you at LARPA before, miss. I'm sure you hear this often, but you're rather beautiful. I've never seen a garment like the one you're wearing either. Is this some sort of cer ceremonial clothing? And I'm pretty sure the the guy, the house he's betting is the one from that guy who got sto who got his house um, taken in the bet. And your skin, so pale and perfect, as if you've never been in the sun. You're gorgeous, simply gorgeous. Okay, okay, man, wipe that drool off your face. You too, hero. Stop it. Anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. We're not gonna humor him. Hello, adventurers, and welcome to LARPA. Is this your first time in our fair city? Wonderful! 
visitors are required to pay a thousand silver fee to the city. The funds collected are used to care for the elderly. As LARPA's designated fee collector, I'll happily accept your cash along with any additional donations. Okay, I know what you're... Alright, I confess, I'm not really a fee collector. I'm unemployed and I have five mouths to feed. But I don't want any pity money. Even though they're just mouths, they're well adjusted. They don't think of themselves as, selves as disabled, and you shouldn't either, huh? What? What? Care? Da 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 da. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't do children very well. Oh, infants! Don't be shy, friend. Say hello to my little one. Isn't he adorable? He has his father's gentle eyes and wide smile. He's going to drive all the girls crazy. Look, little one. It's a flying pink kitty cat. Wave, wave to the kitty cat. Oh, hero, this baby is so cute! I don't even mind if his mother thinks I'm a cat! Hey there, little guy! You're the cutest baby ever, ever! Oh, yes you are! Oh, yes you are! Aww. Considering I was in labor for ten hours, this little one better not give me any trouble when he's older! Ten hours? Ooh! That is rough. That's a, that was a rough birth. But I'm glad she made it out. She made it out okay, and so did the baby. <laughs> okay, kiddo. Oh, that's kind of rough. Not kind of rough. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, well, this. That looks like the sanctuary over there. What in tarnation is that freaky red thing flapping over your shoulder, boy? Who are you calling freaky, goober? I'm a red dragon, and you better show him some respect! <laughs> I didn't know they started putting red dragons in bite-sized packages! Oh, really? Well, I'll have you know that fighting is just one of my many talents! Observe, chomp! Wah! You burned me, you runt! Now then, what do you have to say for yourself, ignorant pig? I'd suggest I'm sorry. Well, you can breathe fire, all right, you lousy furry lizard. What did you say? Uh, 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 I said you can breathe fire, you uh, lovely, cuddly wizard. My name is Wanda. I'm the housekeeping manager manager of this stinking mansion. And yes, I'm bitter. What do you mean I have a bad attitude? Hey, you try supervising a bunch of lazy stinking maids. <coughs> One stinking, stinking hour, my stinking shoes, and you'll be begging me to let you slap these slobs. I gotta get out of this stinking line of work, but the only skill I have is yelling at idiots. <coughs> Which is why my voice is raw at the end of every shift in this stinking place. Okay. Okay, madam. Okay. Saucepan lid. This might come in handy. Oh yeah, I should actually equip stuff, huh? Oh, I can actually use this shield. Leather cap. Uh, leather armor. Nothing. Nashi. Nah, I don't want to change out Ancient Dagger. We can't change our equipments yet. Many of the people who live in LARPA came here to forget their old lives and start new ones. Yes, we have a few miscreants and troublemakers in our midst, but I ask you to name a city that doesn't. I truly believe that most people are inherently good. 
Well, I mean, I suppose, I guess people are worse or better than you expect. I guess that's the best way I could put it. There are definitely bad people for sure, but it also mean, doesn't mean that there are not good people either. Anyway. Almost everyone in LARPA has a skeleton in their closet. My job is to keep those closets locked tight. I've been hired by the mayor to discourage those people who are asking too many questions. I also do some freelance work as a bouncer and bodyguard. You kids need some muscle? Excuse me? There's only one unspoken law in LARPA. Don't, ga don't ask, don't tell. And we enforce it at all times. We've had to convince a few people to leave town when they got too curious about their neighbors. If you guys want to enjoy your stay in LARPA, all you have to do is mind your own business. The people who founded LARPA many years ago had, um, misunderstandings with law enforcement. When they built this town, they declared that it would never have a police force. And it never has. Oh, okay, I guess that's why it's not safe to live here, but whatever. This mansion is filled to the brim with shady characters and crooks. Haven't you noticed? <coughs> and if you ask me, the mayor is the biggest swindler of them all. But, uh, please don't tell anyone I said that, okay? Okay? I really need this job to pay off my gambling debts, okay? All right, glass houses. Glass houses. LARPA's annual budget. Highly confidential. Do not file an easily accessible bookshelf. Bribes, 30,000 in silver. Escorts, 15,000 in silver. Gambling, 5,000 in silver. Ale, 10,000 in silver. Prisons, zero. Schools, nada. LARPA was founded by a group of entertainment specialists to provide an oasis of adult recreation where citizens from around the world can drink and gamble without fear of police harassment. So basically you're like Las Vegas or Macau except with no reinforcements and no, uh, not reinforcements, no law enforcement which is kind of bad for a casino place and that means you're gonna get swindled out of everything. When Althena's children combine the strength of their hearts and minds, anything can be achieved. The goddess smiles upon us when we show understanding and love for one another. Oh, okay. I ain't seen you here before, little ones. And you look like you got you got a question to ask. Well, don't ask me, you scamps. Ask the mayor. Head upstairs and look around for him. Hehe. <laughs> I knew the mayor back when he was just a young punk. He might be a politician now, but he ain't changed that much, let me tell ya. He's still running the same scams as always, but now he calls them initiatives and programs. Heh! <laughs> let me tell ya, the guys working for the mayor are just as crooked as he is. <laughs> they make sure that he is a piece of all the action in LARPA. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you members of Althena's Chosen? Go away! We don't want to hear your mystical mumble jumble. Oh, uh, what? You're not? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm just getting tired of kicking those nuts out out of here. If you're looking for the mayor, he's on the second floor. Okay. If you have business with the mayor, you'll find him on the second floor. Hmm? Da! Whoa! Wookie here! You came to play with me! Yippee! Let's play house, okay? Everyone, your kids want to play house? Y'all need to play something else, and no, I'm just joking. Are you here to see the mayor? You look like you're in search of information, and he has it. You wouldn't believe how many people in LARPA feed him facts in exchange for a little cash. 
Now then, let's discuss how much you're going to pay for the information I just gave you. <coughs> what? You never told us that we had to pay you just to speak with you! I'm just messing with your head, kid. I never get tired of pulling that gag on newbies to LARPA. If there's anything I've learned over the years, it's that you can never give up hope. No matter how awful things seem, life will get better, as long as you keep believing in yourself. I know that's a simple philosophy, but I'm a simple man by nature. But I'm not so simple that I won't ask for compensation in exchange for my wisdom. Huh? What? We weren't expecting to be charged for a conversation. <sighs> I'm just kidding, buddy. What I've really learned over the years is that I love to mess with people. Okay, buddy. Life is short, gang, so you might as well laugh your way through it. This gambler's town is no place to raise a child. My husband grew up here and look how he turned out. Our daughter needs a good school and wholesome friends, not mean streets and shifty scoundrels. <sighs> I wish my husband would clean up this town, but he needs to clean up his act first. Oh. You keep away from our daughter. The last thing she needs in her life is another bad influence. She's going to marry a wealthy man and move out of this goddess forsaken town if it kills me. Stay away from the summoner! Oh wait, oh, whoops. Got him. Hi, Ketson Jester. <laughs> Again. Stay away from the summoner! Sorry, I had to make that reference. It's a reference to another RPG, but we haven't played that on this stream. I never left. I know, I was like, oh wait, you had not left. The boss was the most notorious gangster in LARPA. We ain't doing that illegal stuff no more. Now he's the mayor, and so he can do whatever he wants and get away with it. You wanna see the boss? He's right in there. Just make, don't make no trouble or I have to butt bash your skulls. I never argue with the boss. Oh, no, he don't like that when I call him the boss. Reminds me of the, him of the days when I used to break kneecaps for him. Then he rigged the election. Well, um, hey, I, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Don't tell the boss, uh, uh, the mayor. The boss, the, uh, uh, the mayor is in this room. Don't be afraid to talk with him. He ain't gonna hurt you. But you try anything funny, I'm the guy who's got I'm the guy who's gonna hurt you. Hurt ya. Darn this New Yorker accent. I'm very bad at it, so. You told bit anyway. It's too fun to talk with the NPCs, so. Hello! I'm the mayor of LARPA. I've got all the information you want, for a very reasonable fee. Shh, yes, if I pay you. Where's Ronfar the priest? Are you sure? Shh, uh, yeah, as if I'd pay you. Well, you don't have to be rude about it. Just remember that I'm here when you need me. Okay, let's talk to him. Where's Ronfar the priest? Hmm, Ronfar. Romfar. Sorry, but I've never heard of a priest named Romfar at the sanctuary. Since I didn't have the info you wanted, I won't ask for my usual fee. Isn't that nice of me? Basically, he told you where he is. Wow, the mayor is actually helping you out here. <coughs> he mercifully didn't force you to pay. <coughs> Hold on, give me one sec. <coughs> Doing all these voices is gonna take its toll on my voice if I'm not careful. <coughs> okay, well. Humph! Humph! Do you. Humph! Do you know how hard it is to find a good man in LARPA? Let me tell you. 
The only thing the boys around here want to do the boys around here want to do is gamble their lives away. <clears throat> well, that just won't do. I need a man who can hold on to his cash and fulfill my needs. Oh, okay. Let me tell you, this town is <clears throat> Sorry about that. This town is just a giant playground with a bunch of 30 old kids running around. I don't want a boy, I want a man. And I'm going to search this town until I find one. Good luck, lady. <clears throat> wow, there's a lot more of this town if I wanted to go there. But I think we should just go in the sanctuary, I'm tired of waiting. This building is the sanctuary. Althena's Chosen decided to move into LARPA a few years ago. Chosen? Although, they didn't exactly receive a warm welcome from the owners of the gambling dens. The priests of the sanctuary say the end of the world is at hand. I think they might be right. They might be right. Okay, let's just go in the sanctuary. I'm tired of waiting. Oh, hold on. Let me try to get that treasure chest behind the sanctuary. Okay, we're not gonna get the chest behind the sanctuary. Our forefathers were brought, <coughs> brought to this world from the blue star by the goddess Althena, that's correct. I believe that there will come a time when Althena allows us to return to the blue star. If we pray to the goddess with all our might, she will grant our every request with her power. <coughs> I pray each and every day that Althena will take us back to the Blue Star. Living on the Blue Star. Yeah, I figured she would know more about it. Anyone here? Okay, you can just dance around here. Most of the people in this village not only scorn Althena's Chosen, they openly mock us. Forgive them, Goddess, for these hedonistic heathens know what, know not what they do. If only these peasants understood that singing, dancing, drinking, and gambling are sinful acts. Well, I suppose. Oh, Goddess, please give me and the other Chosen the strength to convert the people of LARPA. I don't know if they're how receptive they'll be to that, but... Only the most valuable members of Althena's Chosen are allowed inside the holy city of Pentagulia. Not just anyone can be allowed to enter the presence of the goddess herself. Oh? Yes. <clears throat> yes, Althena's in the holy city. If I continue to serve the goddess with all of my effort, I might be allowed into Pentagulia someday. There's a rumor floating around about Ronfar that he used to be a member of Althena's Chosen. And that he was even allowed into Pentagulia. How did such a ridiculous rumor get started? Oh? <clears throat> Your friend seems to be quite ill. Fortunately, you brought her to the right place. Pray to the goddess Althena, and whatever ails your friend will be swiftly cured. Thanks for the su suggestion, old man, but we're not here to pray. But we've come here to chat with a priest named Ronfar. Have you seen him around? <sighs> Ronfar! That notorious rascal had nothing to do with us! Oh, you're gonna get some sleep? Thank you very much. Have a good night, Ketson Jester. Ronfar was one of the, ch one of the chosen, but that was long, long ago. Oh. Interesting. Don't you think the blue star is beautiful? I sure do. Heck, I could stare at it all night long. You know what they should do to the sanctuary? They should rip the roof off. Don't you guys think so? <clears throat> Not to crush your hopes and dreams, Blondie, but what will you do when it rains? <sighs> well, okay, but... Do you know what they could do? They could paint the blue star on the ceiling. Like the Sistine Chapel in our, our world. 
Pay your hundred silver at the feet of the goddess and declare your faith and devotion. But what if I don't believe? <laughs> but what if I don't believe? You don't have faith in the goddess? You're unwilling to make a small donation? <clears throat> Why does Alfina need money? <laughs> wow! That, I, I'm kind of curious of how far we can question this. Even though we do know that Alfina actually exists. And technically, you're not paying the goddess. You're paying the people who serve the goddess. Even they need to live. So, no, I mean, it's going for work, but you better hope your clergy is reliable. Why does Althena need money? It is not for you to question the needs of the goddess, boy. Now make your donation to her. <laughs> wow! You can keep refusing. Is it a thou, but thou must situation? Oh my gosh, this is the most forceful clergy donations I've ever seen. <clears throat> yeah, generally, like, play religious institutions that do this kind of stuff is really like, ooh. Donate this, buddy! Your lack uh, of funds is as disturbing as- Your lack of funds is as disturbing as your lack of faith, boy! Althena is saddened by your behavior. I, I'm pretty sure we'll meet her and we'll, like, we can explain. Oh, wait, hold on. You know what else we could do? We could hire a giant to grab the blue star and bring it here. Oh, basically, the hero was like, ha ha ha, all oh, this girl come. The idea gets crazier every time. Hero, let's let her dream or something like that. I, I went into it too fast because I thought I could repeat it. We could hire a giant to bring the blue star and bring it here, so she wanted to... We could have Althena not rain! I was like, oh my goodness. If you offer your silver to the goddess Althena, your mind and body will grow strong. The more money you give to the goddess, the more she will rejoice in your kindness. Hmm... I see suspicion in your eyes, boy. You must have faith in Althena, or your donations mean nothing. If you offer your silver to the goddess Althena, your mind and body will go strong. Okay. 601, 602, 603, this is all of today's donations? The people of LARPA aren't just a bunch of heathens, they're also a bunch of tight wads. Oh, who are you? I'm sorry, young man, but donations to Althena are strictly non-refundable. Uh, I'm not here for a refund. My friend has been cursed, and we've come here to find a priest who can lift it. <coughs> His name is Ronfar. Can you introduce us to him? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Ronfar? That heathen has never set foot in this sanctuary, and he never will. I'm appalled that you would dare to invoke such an infamous name in this sacred place. All that Ronfar will live from your cursed friend is her money pouch. Rest assured of that. What? But, but Grandpa Gwyn told us... I don't care what you heard. If you want to find Ronfar, search the tavern, not the sanctuary. So yeah, as we suspected, that guy is Ronfar. I still can't believe there was ever a time when that rogue was one of the chosen. If Ron pa Far isn't drinking at the bar, he's most likely fornicating his house of ill repute. I just don't understand how he could give up a life of purity for a life of such depravity. Well, something must have happened to make him turn against his... against what he used to believe in. Huh. Why did Ron Far leave the church? Well, I mean, given how stuffy some of these people are, I'm not surprised. They're not really in- they don't strike me as being actually in the service of the people. All they want to do is to tell them... ...to stop doing stuff, but they're not actually helping them with... ...the causes of why it might- I don't know. It's sort of like 